Hey guys, welcome to the Carbon Fiber Nation. My name is Mike. This is part one of a many part series where we're going to be talking about laminating and designing with carbon fiber. I've been doing this for about 15 years and one of the things that I've noticed is a lot of new people have decided to come into the industry, especially with 2020 and jobs being a little bit difficult to find. So what I wanted to do is create a tutorial series. It'll be fairly long winded, but each video will be very short and succinct talking about things like laminating, bagging, trimming, assembly, tool prep, um, painting, QA, tool design, refurbishing, repairs, lamp, like wet lamination, infusion, carbon prepregs, autoclaves. Uh, it's going to be fairly in depth, but we're going to start out really simple. So basically treat this as carbon fiber 101 and I'm your teacher. Uh, I hated school and I'm sorry if I suck. So uh, first thing we're going to be talking about today. So episode one will be what are you looking at when you're looking at carbon fiber? Most carbon fiber comes in a twill uh, or a woven fabric. Um, there are some that don't. Those are called unidirectional fibers where it only travels in one direction. We'll get to that. I apologize. Um, but today we're going to be talking about different types of twill. Uh, we're going to be focusing mostly on the most popular, which is two by two twill. So what that is, and again, I'm going to be throwing some terms around. I'll try to explain them if I can. If I don't get to it, please go into the comments down below. Ask me questions. We also have a discord that I've set up. If you have any questions or you have a topic for a future video, please let me know and I'll try to get to it as soon as I can. My plan is to post two, maybe three videos a week. Uh, again, they're going to be fairly basic and hopefully over time we kind of grow this channel a little bit and make it a one-stop shop for any information you might need. So starting with our actual roll of carbon fiber. So this would be after it's already been processed and it's gone to one of the many companies out there that will roll and prepare your carbon fiber for you, either a pre-preg or just a normal dry material, it comes in a roll. Uh, usually these are what we usually buy them in is about 40 meter lengths and it's all wound up on top of here. And when you're looking at your material, you're actually going to have fibers that go in this direction and then fibers that cross it in this direction. So going up and down the roll, generally what we would refer to these as 090 fibers if they are traveling on the 0 and 90. And the way to easily explain that is the fibers that are going along the roll and are rolled up this way. So these fibers, these are going to be referred to as your zero fibers. They are the longest fibers that go along the roll and which means that the fibers that are going across the roll are going to be called your 90 fibers. Okay. So when you're looking at a woven material, generally what you'll have is this is where we get into twill and other things. So if you're looking at the carbon fiber twill, what you'll generally have is one fiber like this, then you'll have another fiber like this, and then so on and so forth. And then it'll go up this way, up this way. And then over top of these fibers, you're going to have a fiber that goes like this, fiber that goes like this, fiber that goes here, and so on and so forth. You'll have, you know, one of these that goes this way, one of those. And what we've just drawn here is a two by two twelve, which means every one of these fibers will go over and under two other fibers. So this fiber is going underneath. So these two are the same strand. Let's say they're both on zero. This fiber is going underneath these two, and then it goes over top of these two. You can see these are the same fiber here, it goes over and under two. Also looking at this, you can see the pattern direction. The pattern, so if this is the weave direction where you have a zero and you have a 90 uh, on your actual fibers that you're looking at, this is going to be your pattern direction. You can see all of these are the same and all of these are the same. That will print itself along the roll. So you'll actually see kind of like a woven, like an uh, actual pattern forming on the roll of material. 
and that is only from the way that these different threads line up. So when you're looking at your roll, this is your zero, or this can be your zero depending on how you have it, but this is your zero and this is your 90, and that is the weave, that is the weave direction of the actual fibers of material. And then when you're looking at the pattern, which are the way that the toes orient, later I hope to have props to be able to show you this a little bit easier, your pattern direction will be going on a 45 compared to your weave. Now this is the same for, if this is a two by two, it's going over two, under two. The same thing will be said for a three by three or a four by four. Um, the Corona's Egg Regera Naked Carbon, I believe is what they call it, has a four by four twill. So if you want to take a look at pictures of that, it looks really fantastic. Uh, the two by two twill will be used on something like the 4GT Liquid Carbon. Uh, that's a two by two twill. Um, so if you look at pictures of that, when you zoom in, what you'll end up seeing is this. You'll see the fibers and then you'll see the pattern. And everything on those cars tries to have the pattern flow together because it looks really nice that way. So a little bit long-winded, I apologize, um, but this is a basic understanding of looking at a roll and how the pattern differs from the weave and how to tell which one is which. Um, there's also, if you're looking at a uh, laminate schedule, so Basically, the layup that you're going to be doing on the part is called laminate schedule. What they'll have is a pattern direction compass. So generally, they'll look like this. So there's your zero and there's your 90, right? Zero and 90. And then what you'll have is a plus 45 and a minus 45. This denotes if you're actually going to change the orientation of the fabric, not the pattern direction. This will say whether or not when you're laminating it, if you orient it on a zero and 90 or a plus minus 45, the plus and the minus 45 really matter when you're doing um, like a big flat sheet and it's a complex layup of many layers. What you have to do is you have to make sure that at the middle point of the laminate, you switch it around to be the exact opposite. Otherwise you'll actually get it to bend. Again, I'm sorry, I threw that out there. We'll be covering more about balanced layups and flat plates and things like that and actually like bending fibers a little bit later. Uh, but for right now, I just want to kind of get your head into the way twill works. First thing I was ever taught in carbon fiber was if your pattern is on a 45, your material is on a 90. And if your pattern's on a 90, your material's on a 45. Hopefully this explains it. If not, again, leave me a comment in the uh, section down below. Just, I will go into more detail if I need to down there. Uh, and like I said, later, hopefully I get some props. That way I can show you exactly what I'm talking about, hold up some fabric and uh, get you guys started. Again, thank you very much. Uh, if you like this video, please like it, obviously. And uh, if you didn't like it, dislike it. And hopefully you subscribe and ask some questions down below. If you have any ideas for videos or if you're confused about something or if there's something you're doing in your own work, in your own projects, please, ask a question down below. I've been doing this for a long time and I only want to be able to help. So thank you again. Have a good one.